actually on this trail yet. So the plan was to get here early and drive up here to hike the Angel's Landing Trail, right? Well, three days before we left, shuttles came back onto service. So it was first come, first serve until April 1st. April 1st, you do need a permit to get in here. So that's why we were trying to get here before permits started. So just hoping it doesn't get too busy. Wasn't too bad this morning, but coming down it could be worse. Seems impossible to get over there. It makes you feel better. We came from way over there. We already went pretty far. Look at that view. So many people going up that. Oh man. Here we go. Tired? Yeah. Coming down, that's gonna be a bitch. Mommy turned around, but that's okay. It was pretty tough. Down, up, and put it there. Was it like, hard? Not really, no. I mean, not for me. <laughs> the people, having a lot of people made it hard.
surprised how little the rock is slippery. Well, it's still grippy. It's pretty good. Coming down kind of hurts my knees though. It's a little rough. That's not good. I'm so glad we're leaving after seeing all those people down there. Oh my God, <laughs> there's so many. I'll walk down the river before we leave. That's cold. Is it cold? Man, that is freezing. Ready? We did it. You're done. You're done. Very hard to see, but there's people right up there up the top of Angel's Landing. When you look at it from here, it seems insane that we went up there. Finally back. The visitor center open still? Looks like it. Go in there and look for knickknacks we don't need. I wasn't going to get a shirt, but I want to get this one right here. So I wasn't going to get a shirt. We found one you like. And you said you weren't going to get a hoodie. Shirt I'm not supposed to have. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We really rushed to try to get this hike done before permit started. We hiked this at the end of March and permit season starts April 1st. So this hike can be a little subjective. I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot harder and a lot more challenging to get through the actual chain section. Um, some people were having difficulty with it. It's not as hard as other people made it out to be. What made it challenging was the other people. Having to navigate through the amount of people that were there and that were stalling, that's what made it really hard. So if you decide to do this hike, just be cautious, uh, wear gloves so you don't rip the skin off your hands when you're pulling yourself up through the chain section. Also after the hike, we went down to the lodge and went and got a bite to eat. We didn't really, I wasn't expecting much from the, from the lodge. Uh, I was expecting to get like super cheap 
hamburgers for probably 15 to 20 dollars i would i couldn't have been more wrong the food was excellent I thought the food was gonna be more expensive than what it is does it does it taste good um, so i was very surprised with that so if you're hiking definitely go and eat at the lodge it's definitely worth it and you get free refills on your drinks so if you want a soda or anything free refills so great little spots to sit and relax there's a whole field right there uh, where my daughter actually fell asleep in the field so because she was so tired after the hike so again thank you guys so much for watching please consider liking and subscribing and as always see you guys in the next one